Hi everyone. Today we are going to study labeled graph. A graph in which each vertex is assigned a unique label or a name is called a labeled graph. So you, till now we have seen graphs in which vertices are not assigned any names. They are just random vertices. But if a vertex is assigned a unique name or a unique label, then such a graph having such labeled vertices is called a labeled graph. For example, here you can see a graph with four vertices and all the four vertices are labeled as A, B, C, D. So you can call it a labeled graph. Similarly, in the remaining three graphs that you can see here are also having labeled vertices. So they are labeled graphs. So they basically I can say that these are four graphs with four labeled vertices. Now the distinction between a labeled and an unlabeled graph is very important when we are counting the different number of graphs. When counting is required in that case uh, there is a distinction between counting the number of labeled graphs or counting the number of unlabeled graphs because labeling changes the entire scenario. For example if you have to count these graphs they will be counted as four different graphs although you can see that all these graphs are having similar number of vertices, similar number of edges and the incidence of edges and vertices is also same in all these four graphs. The incidence between the edges and the vertices is the same in all these four graphs. So I can call them isomorphic. But since they are labeled, still they will be counted as four different graphs. If they were not labeled, if the vertices of these graphs were not labeled, in that case they were clearly isomorphic graphs and then they would have been counted as one graph. In that case, I would not have counted them as four different graphs, but I would have counted them as one graph since all these four graphs were isomorphic, having the same number of vertices, having the same number of edges and the incidence between the edges and vertices was also same. So if they were not labeled, they would have been counted as one graph. But since they are labeled, which changes the entire scenario. So if when the graphs are labeled, that means when the graphs have labeled vertices, in that case, even if the graphs are isomorphic, they will be counted as different graphs. So these four labeled graphs will be counted as four different graphs, irrespective of the fact that they are isomorphic. Still, I will count them as four different graphs. So this is what we are trying to tell here that the distinction between a labeled and an unlabeled graph is very important when we are counting the number of different graphs because counting them would change in case of an unlabeled graph and counting them would change in case of a labeled graph. So if it if they are unlabeled they will be counted as one and if they are labeled they will be counted as four. For instance, this is just what I told you. For instance, the four graphs in the figure we've just seen are counted as four different graphs or four different trees because they are trees in this case, even though they are isomorphic, <laughs> adhering to all the properties of isomorphism. Why? Only because the vertices are labeled. And if there were no distinction made between the vertices as A, B, C or D, then without label, these four trees would be counted as one.